Hi everyone, this is an Amalgia video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, and today we're going to be talking about fish you can only catch at the pier. If you haven't noticed yet, your town has a pier that extends off one of your beaches into the ocean. Normally, the shadows at the pier are just regular ocean fish, but there are four fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons that can only be caught at the pier. These four fish are the blue marlin, the giant trevally, the tuna, and the mahi-mahi. All four fish have large shadows, and let's start with the blue marlin, because I believe it is the most common of the four. Blue marlin is available in the northern hemisphere between July and September, and between November and April. In the southern hemisphere, it's available between January and March, and May through November. Here's a look at the Blue Marlin's Southern Hemisphere Critterpedia page, and as you can see, its active hours are all day long. I say the Blue Marlin is the most common because in my experience, in the time it took me to catch one Mahi Mahi, I have caught about seven or eight Blue Marlins. Next up, let's talk about the Giant Trevally. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's available between May and October, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it's available between November and April. You don't necessarily have to find or fish the shadow at the end of the pier. If it's to the side of the pier or anywhere around it, that should be good enough to be able to catch one of the pier fish. There's the giant trevally, and let's take a look at its Critterpedia page. This page is from the Southern Hemisphere, but it shows that its active hours are all day long. In the time it took me to catch one mahi-mahi, I have caught about three giant trevallies. Moving on, let's talk about the tuna. It's available in the Northern Hemisphere between November and April, and in the Southern Hemisphere between May and October. My town is in the Southern Hemisphere, but I was able to visit some of my Northern Hemisphere friends in order to be able to get the tuna. Here's a look at the Southern Hemisphere Critterpedia page for the tuna, and since I'm not in the Northern Hemisphere right now, and it's outside its normal months, it doesn't display the current active hours, but the tuna is available all day, like the other pier fish. I've only caught one tuna, but it only took between 10 and 20 fish bait and about 45 minutes of time in another friend's town, so I don't think it's too difficult to catch. Lastly, before I give some general tips on how to catch all the pier fish, let's talk about the elusive mahi-mahi. The mahi-mahi is available in the northern hemisphere between May and October, and in the southern hemisphere between November and April. And like the other pier fish, it's available all day long. In my experience, the mahi-mahi was by far the hardest of the pier fish to catch, and it took me nearly 250 fish bait in a single sitting to finally be able to lure it in. Now I'm going to talk about some general tips on catching all the pier fish, because the strategy is generally the same. First, I cannot stress enough the importance of having enough fish bait. Fish bait is important in the game, but it's especially important with fish that only pop in specific locations. Second, rainy weather is rumored to increase all rare fish spawns, and I have noticed that I have a better chance of catching giant trevallies, and I guess the mahi-mahi since I've only caught one while it was raining. So if you find that it's raining in your town, it may be a good idea to take that time and hit the pier. The next tip is that if you use the Nook Miles ticket and go visit one of those randomly generated islands, there's actually a small pier around where you land that you can use to catch pier fish. But being on a Nook Island isn't inherently helpful in landing the pier fish. It only increases the chance of rare fish spawning if you're on an island that gives a bonus to ocean fish. Another important point is that even if it's sunny in your town, there is a chance that you could arrive at a Nook Island and have it be raining. While I do think that in order to be on a Nook Island with an ocean fish bonus while it's raining, there'd be a lot of luck involved, I actually don't think you need to go that far in order to catch most of the pier fish. The giant trevally tuna and blue marlin appear to be common enough that you can catch them if it's just normal weather conditions in your town. And while I certainly hope your luck is better than mine, it may be a good idea to maximize your chances when dealing with the mahi-mahi. My best advice is to just fish at the pier wherever it's raining, whether it be your town or a nook island. If you're trying to fish it up on a nook island, remember to bring lots of fish bait because there are no clams on the beaches with which to make more. There's the elusive mahi-mahi, and now let's take a quick look at its Southern Hemisphere Critterpedia page. I hope this guide helps you reel in all the pier fish you need and complete your Critterpedia. 
Thanks for watching.